Why do I seem so much further away to you? Oh, because... Wait. Because I'm sitting forward a little bit. Oh, okay. If I'm Testing. like this, then I'm fine. That's a cherry's in the <laughs> It's already died. I mean, you've got an, an inordinate amount of stuff now. No. I guess so much stuff. So are you ready? Are we ready. going? You ready? It's so much stuff back here. Well, I mean, there's a camera here and here and here. People and are going to go over here, so where are those cameras? Where are the cameras at? Well, I didn't say they were working cameras no, tonight. Working. Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> no one said they were working no cameras. No one said they were working. Because working cameras are sold. They cost money. They cost, they cost money. real money. Non-working cameras cost nothing. Yes. Nothing. Yes. Howdy, y'all. I'm Mr. Holga. And I'm Todd Puckett. And this is Don's Used Photo Equipment. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Haven't seen you in a while. I know. I figured I should have done this before, but yeah. I, it's, it's been a while. <laughs> you cleaned your glasses? Yeah, no, I'm Just I'm as like, we, were, we were discussing, the Fuji Film you know, X. <laughs> It's film X. It really no should idea. say at Don's Use Photo right there. But he doesn't want you to miss the no, sign. Yeah, yeah. Because it's, it's still July. Yes. It's still film of the month. Which film I shot some of that film. Yes, and you put it on the Instagram. I did. I put a very lovely picture of you in contemplation on the Instagram page. So uh pause the video. Yeah. Go to the Don's Use Photo Instagram and go check it out. It's a very lovely shot. I like the colors. The colors mm -hmm. are great. Mm -hmm. We took him uh, just down the street a little bit. I think that's near the Dallas Contemporary. Uh uh, and yeah. it, it's a really nice, they got some of those like little it, horses. It's like a barnyard, a couple, some of those little springy horses. Little horses. They have some stacks of hay out there. Really, it yeah. beckons to be a backdrop for somebody's photos. And you see a lot of photos of that being taken over there. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, and we went to dinner the other night and I'm like, Hey, I just needed to get him out there just to take a couple of photos. So it looked pretty good. Yeah. I liked it. So uh, proof that I actually move outside of this. He does. I've gotten wall. him out of this place a couple. Of out of my shell. <laughs> <laughs> it's a shell. <laughs> it's a shell. Uh, that's right. It but you know, I have survived it. I survived it and made it back. He has. He's he's done very well. He's getting over his uh, his Shock. OCD, his OCD condition. <laughs> I don't know if you can call this OCD, but all right. Uh, was it obsessive compulsive trash compulsive trash it. <laughs> So, uh, like the new shirt here? Yes, so, yes. So, auto parts. Oh, I'm going oh, for the oh, auto oh, parts. Riley. All right. Auto so, parts. Because this weekend, um, I did the dastardly deed with my VW. I knew that was coming. I knew it, uh, the, the, my DV, my DV, 1971 Volkswagen Super Beetle. Uh, now, I know this isn't a uh, camp. This, we, we are having bug talk here with uh, Holga yes. and Puckett. Yep, yep. Uh, but, and Don G's photo. But it also has a photo uh, a photo yes. aspect to it as well. Because you take lots and lots of pictures of cars. And I'll share this with you because I took a oh, family photo. Oh, yes. Wow. And, and so I'm sharing that photo with you guys to see. Right? So, wow. you know, when you have a bunch of people over your house who are going to lift up this very heavy body and put it on the floor, essentially... Uh, you kind of have to, you know, you, you have to take a group photo with it. And so Absolutely. I'm always advocating that. I so, love it. So I now if it. you'll notice, you can barely see our heads because we're yes. all too short for the car. Because we put the car on some small jack stands. Yep, yep, yep. In hindsight, we probably should have just put the car on the floor. And that way we wouldn't have been hidden behind the car. <laughs> <laughs> with your looks hidden's better oh no, oh, no way I didn't, oh, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't say, did i say that out oh, loud <laughs> burn burn why would you, you do want, that to me? no no with well, friends you, like this guys why why would you need you really want to focus on the vw on bug. the car right yes, i want to focus yeah. on, the, on car. the car that's what i meant to say so <laughs> essentially starting to the the show by saying hey i'm taking photos which is mm -hmm. fantastic and now let's kind of move into the next bit here yeah uh, so the next couple of these photos here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now this is, I'm going to share these with you as well. This is the C200 film. Yes. The film of the month. But now this lovely red streak that gets yeah. in there. The, Apparently there's a light leak in the camera. This is my dad's Minolta camera. Yeah. Uh, and that's also the C200 as well. But you see, it's obviously it's not hitting all of them. No, no. So it's only it's, hitting some of them. And that's just daylight. Probably because of the light, the... the uh... Uh, yeah. And then if you flip another one, uh, all right, so that's your contemplation picture, yes, right? Yes, yes, But no, keep going the other way. The other way there, yeah, there was yeah, one yeah. more. Yeah, Boom. Yeah. And it's the yeah. same in the, the same location. Same. But now, yeah. light leak or not, yes, it, the, the colors of this film are still beautiful. Yes. And it is a fantastic job, guys. Now, without paying for it, you're getting the effect of double film. That's This is what double film does. 
Interesting. Yeah. I, so, so explain to our, the folks what Devil yeah, Film is. Devil Film is... Oh, that's also the C200. You see this truck? It looks like it's having a bad day. Yeah, yeah. Smoke. It does. It does. Um, Devil Film. What it is, it's just regular film, but it's color streaked throughout. For this one, it's pink for bubblegum. Okay. And then there's one over there called Monsoon and uh, Moon Rucker. I don't know. But they're, they're like streaked with certain colors. Okay. And blue, green. One of them's called Sunstroke, so it's a lot of harsh colors. That's oh, streaked. I had a stroke. Yeah. Yep, yep. They were going to change it, and then they didn't. But then there's Apollo. There's all sorts of different ones. that kind of jelly, which is sort of like pinks and okay. blues, yeah, light, yeah. Uh, pastels colors. But you're paying fourteen ninety nine a roll for twenty four exposure rolls, and you're getting it for free in the camera yard <laughs> because because of the light leaks. The light leaks. I mean, the light leaks. They, they were beautifully in just the right spot. Yeah. And so I, the question is, do I fix the the seals on the door, or do I just let the camera be itself? Let the camera be. Let the camera fly. Because not all mm -hmm. shots got light leaks, so yeah. I, I can't yeah. explain which ones or which ones didn't. And it's kind of cool when it did. It, and it, it, it really yeah. a nice place. So some of them were the red right in the middle, and some were like uh, obviously uh, white on the ends. And so you know clearly something's going on there. Yeah, uh, could have been the shutter sticking. I don't know. Could have been no, any no. number of things. No, no. But just leave it for a while. But it was after. cool. Yeah. And it was a good film, and it's still uh, film of the month for this month. So yeah. you should come grab some film of the month. Oh, film it's of the flying month. off the shelves. So that was that. Uh, yeah, I've sold a lot of film of the month. Uh, yeah. Yes, a lot. And I, uh, Chris actually has bought like. A lot herself from Long Star Dark Room. So, so goes, one more, one more favorite picture. film. One more picture I'm going to share with you guys. Mm -hmm. So, uh, which is a Father's Day photo. Okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm going to share this photo with you guys as well. Now, this was that uh, Cinestill film roll that we got. Out, I got out of the broken camera, and so uh, a customer came back oh. in, said the camera didn't work, we couldn't get the film out, but yeah. I got the film out, and half the roll was still available to use. Yeah. So I shot it. And on Father's Day, like I asked you guys to, I took uh, Father's Day pictures with my kids. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to share a picture of my, my girls with you. Yeah. I actually had them each take a picture with me, but I was going to share that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, the, the group photo. And so I, you know, I'm not really accustomed to shooting Cinestill uh, film 800, but, you know, I really like the results. It looked nice. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, you it know, essentially me. it was a free half a roll of film for me. I liked it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it's really cool. But uh, unfortunately, that the, the other half of the roll that came out of the camera, those were all garbage. They were they were toast. I, I don't know what the, that photographer did or or how that camera was working. It was yeah. it was not a pretty sight. But anyways, lucky that's me, issue. not not for them. Yeah, it's another issue. So that's the first part of our show. Um, mm -hmm. The middle part here is that I understand that we've had another we've had another passing in the film family. Yep. yep, yep uh, and, yeah, and of yeah. course, I would love for you to explain the phone calls that you got that probably it's in. I, I read a lot of photography news, so I probably <laughs> knew it at the same time you knew it. But, yeah, but yeah. I, I knew it because I was reading the news. You read it because you started getting the phone calls. The phone calls, <laughs> the phone calls. You know, I can't really always keep up with what's going on the Internet and with all the news stories coming up. But so I'm sitting here talking to people and working with people on some phone rings. Um, yeah, you got any Velvia 100. Velvia 100. That's a strange request. Why would yeah. you want Velvia 100? I got I have a few rolls of the 120. Okay. Yeah, I've had it on back order for six months. Yeah. I've okay. Had, I got a few. Then I hang up a few minutes later. Hey, do you have any Velvia 100? What? Another call for Velvia 100? Pretty much back to back. That's suspicious. Suspicious. And then I have a third call. Hey, do you have mm. uh, Velvia 100? And uh, if you don't, uh, when, when I said, well, when are you getting it? When, when you, you, when you get, get it, it? <laughs> can you hold 20 rolls of each for me? <laughs> At, At normal, normal prices. Normal prices. That, no, <laughs> did that, that did was they upset. say normal no, prices no, or no. are they trying to not say that? They're out trying loud. to not say that out loud. They were just leaving it as it was, just in case I didn't know. So, all of those calls in a row, I went and That's a conspiracy. I went Three and, calls is a conspiracy. Two mm -hmm. is a coincidence. Three is like... It's okay, definitely a conspiracy. Okay. Then I looked up and found out that Velvia 100... Right. Via the EPA of the USA... The United States Environmental Protection Agency. Mm -hmm, that's Uncle Sam's evil cousin. 
has stated that well, he's not evil. He's actually keeping us alive. So sure, I take sure. that back. Yeah. He's he's please, trying. He's trying to do something in our best please, interest. Please don't waterboard us. The um, <laughs> as long as it's clean water, it's yeah, supposed to be I'm, fine, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, just just well. Anyway, found out that this thing right here has 0.003 percent fentanyl. P H E N O L, which is now registered controlled drug. It's a controlled drug slash substance. Yes, and you can't have it. No, it's it's verboten. It's verboten. I, I can't say it's no bueno. It is verboten. You may not have nine, point zero zero nine, zero nine, three nine, or just how many point zeros? Two uh, point zero zero three percent. Okay, so that's really don't know what you could do with that. Hundred thousand, ten thousandths, three ten thousandths of a. Who knows? It's a lot. Or yeah, whatever. if they were third grade, I could tell you like that. But now, it's but like, since we're not being graded, we don't really we don't care. care. But it's more than they're going to allow us to have for to have. free, for yes. free. For, for so, Mexico. yeah, I had this over on my table of expired film and the guy picks it up and goes, hey, how much? And I had a price sticker already on it. And he looked at it and goes, oh, OK, well, I'm going to pass on that 50 count box, 50 count <laughs> box. So I took it and I said, okay, well, I'm going to sell it to the next person for a lot more money. Now, here's the skinny. Next day, I get a phone call. Mm -hmm. Next day, next day, morning. Yeah. Sitting here. Bing, bing. Hello. Hello. This is your fourth call. No. Hi, this is Laura from Fuji. Oh, oh, oh that's right. Well, this is the, the Fuji call. This is the this is when the uh, the military show up at the uh, the four star uh, mom's house and yeah, lets yeah. her know it's about like, her son. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. This is the, this so, is the so one. was there a, a rabbi with her? No, no, no. <laughs> just it was just strictly her phoning and saying, mm. uh, "Yes, I wanted to give you a call." And I said, "Are you going to tell me that Velvia has discontinued?" And she goes, "Are you a psychic? How did you know? Are you a psychic?" And I'm kind of thinking. Yes, but I didn't want to. <laughs> Listen, guys, we're just not we're no. not just pretty faces here. We're psychics. We know a few things. We know things. <laughs> oh, yeah, especially when three people. Call. And we might not be able to add numbers, but when these things start rolling that way, we, we yeah. can get the hint. When so, the tide shifts, we, we feel it. So when, we, when the when the pretty girl gives you a phone number that uh, that says, some dude answers, yeah, we yeah. know we've been. All right, it's it. like you've been giving the uh, get lost phone number. <laughs> yeah. there, there was actually one of those around. I never got it because it's a phone number for a taxi cab. That's, no, that's no, not no, good. that's not it's... good either. But anyway, I got a phone call yeah. and basically it was sitting there going, uh, "Well, yes, we have discontinued Velvia 100." Right, right, discontinued. LV100. Just dis gone. That's it. No. Here's the deal. Though. Discontinued. Excuse me. So here's the deal. Yeah. Okay. They're still making Velvia 100. Yes, they are. They are. But everything's going to say they're discontinued. What's going on is that it will just be for the rest of the world and not us. Just mm. like MPS. Right. That's that lovely, lovely Fuji film yes, that I bought. The, 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 yes. uh, the, uh, the Pro 160 NPS. Pro 160, yeah. Yeah. Pro it just doesn't come to the United States. No, just it, it's made, but it's just not for us. Mm, we're we're just not good enough. We are not worthy. We're not worthy. When we put it on a band list, somehow people take offense to that. <laughs> you know, so, and you, when yeah. you take something away from us. Yes. And not, not saying, okay, it's gone for good, well, but saying you guys just can't have it. I can't help but want it even more now. Yeah, uh, no, I know. I, now I have to have it. I have to. But will you be charged with control, distributing a controlled substance if you get it? Well, there is my friend called eBay who normally sells stuff all over the world that I yeah. could probably get some if I really sure, wanted it, sure. right? But you probably get a knock on the door right afterwards. DEA coming in. But no, no. But the hard part is you can't buy a case of it now to sell yeah, to regular customers. And, and so there's a lot of but people I who aren't had going it to buy six, it But I for six months, probably. Yeah. For months, I, I, I haven't had it. So I think that they kind of knew about it mm -hmm. and were simply just holding it back. Okay. Because everybody else is out of it, too. So selling selling like, down their yeah, stocks. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So it, it was just one of those things. I'm pretty sure they kind of got the heads up somewhere. Well, which now leads to the next part of, of what we were going to say. Now, yeah. this isn't nearly as sad as when we said goodbye to uh, Pro 400H yeah. because you also talked to Lemick from, from uh, Film Washi. From Film Washi. And he's got some uh, Otherwise known as our secret news. source, secret which has now, now been exposed to the world. Oh, come on. 
he, we, 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 we love film washing. <laughs> we love film washing. We really do. And he loved our little video of us opening the box, our, oh, our yeah, unboxing yeah, yeah. of it. He goes, that's the first time he's ever seen that. Which is on Instagram, guys. It's Go on check Instagram. It out. Check it out. It was a yes, big box. It was. It was a lot of film in it. And it was fun. And of course, I don't think as many people get as much as I do whenever I do no, it. No, no, no. Not that that's, much. That's why it was fun to keep pulling it out. Yeah. And, uh, but yes. So I asked him, I said, hey, wanted to know. You've got your ear to the ground. You know the people behind the scenes. Yeah. You know what's what. Actually, I typed him, so I didn't really say it. But uh, I typed him, and, he, and I said, so what are you hearing? And he tossed me back, and he goes, yes. Um, the people who are coding the film, putting the coatings on the on the base, right? and the people who are making the sprockets, putting poking the holes in it. Right. But it's, not, the, it's not acetate sprockets, anymore. But we're talking about the film base, the actual the, piece of the, yeah. and they of code film. It, code it. Sans chemical. Now, I don't know who, who exactly, but there's only a few, a handful of people in the right. world that are doing this. And he said that everybody that he's talked to and everybody that he knows, all of his contacts, everybody's right. running at 100% of capacity and can't keep up. With can't keep up with the demand on it. So the demand is outstripping currently the production of it. And that's why you see things like the silver top of the product. Right, right. You have things like that, which there's another thing I've told you about this. There's another thing that because of this demand outstripping, um, the rep for Savage came by last week. Savage. Uh, Savage. Is it Savage Universal still or just Savage? Uh, Savage. I just okay. call it Savage. But uh, Xavier. Xavier. Yeah, Xavier came by. I'm came sorry. I'm giving away another source. I'm sorry. I'm just like an open book. I don't keep his secrets that's why I don't, very well. Uh, no, that's, that's why, why he I, doesn't tell me anything. That's why I don't tell him a lot of stuff. <laughs> he keeps Actually, the really odd stuff. So. It out. Just blabs it out. I can out. beep out the Xavier's name. No, it's all right. <laughs> and, but anyway, Xavier said, hey, uh, what are you doing with all of this, all these background stands? I said, Silly question because right. I ordered them from him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'd gotten a note like a few months ago saying we're going to go up on our pricing, and they did a little bit. And, and so I, when I, you I, hear that, you say, "Well, then I'll buy a few more right now." I said, "Give me a dozen of these and a dozen of those." Right. And uh, I got a bunch of them, and then I actually got them in the store. Okay. And they're up at the front of the store. So he walks in and he you have to trip. You have to. I say not trip, trip over them, but you yeah. do have to pass by them back here. Both so you, of them. you will see them. Yeah. And there's two styles, so a lot to talk about on that, but that's another thing. So, sitting there, talking to him, and he goes, he names off a couple of different companies, and he goes, none of them have background uh, sets right now because they ran out of materials to make it. Ooh. And he goes, I think Savage is even out of them right now. Wow. Everybody's on back order. And he goes, you're the only one I know around the area that has it. Now, again, I don't know how to verify that or not, but I have... I think he's good for it. I, th I think you can trust him. Two styles of background supports here. And I've, I've got lots of them because I thought there was going to be a price increase, and there was. But I kept my prices the same because it was just a it was a very minor increase. Yeah, yeah. Which makes me wonder if a big one's going to come later. <laughs> but so... Background support systems here. Don's use photo equipment right now. You have them. Nobody okay. else has them. Yeah. That's kind of cool. There's several other companies. These are new inbox, never used. Never used. I know it says Don's use photo, but guys, there's new stuff here too. So Yes, new stuff here. And so that was a bit of odd information. <laughs> Finding out, you know, it's like, hey, behind the scenes, it's a crazy world in the photography, film, analog world. So, So to recap. And... It's a crazy world in the background support systems. So. It, it is. So to recap, crazy world. Uh, essentially, we've lost a film that you haven't had in stock in a while. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> but I've had I've had this here for months. And now all of a sudden everybody wants it. Everybody wants uh, it. So you, you, you got, we got news that the film industry is can't keep up. And now we have news Kicking that butt. essentially uh, the, the background industry yeah. can't keep up either. Well, they had a material shortage. Material so, shortage. Yeah, so, so I they, mean, they're, they're dealing with material shortage. And I've got backgrounds here. So if you need backgrounds, Sets, come on yeah, in. Brand new. Exactly. So if you've been calling around trying to figure out, well, why are Don's the only place that has it? <laughs> I'm going to wait for another place to get it for a bite. Which they can. They yeah, can. You can. That's okay. But I got them right now. Sure. If you want to wait. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So now, there's one other thing. 
There's mm -hmm. one more thing before the, the last thing? Yes. Okay. One more thing. One more thing. One more thing, guys. Just one more thing. So today we video. Yeah. Later it comes out. Yes. But in between. In between, in between now and then? Go look, and he's going to put the link up here. Okay. Kodak film containers. Kodak film cases? Okay, film cases. You got them? Tomorrow. They're coming, well, they're by coming the time in this comes out. So by the time this video comes in, they're showing up. So the they're Kodak film holders. The, no, the, yeah, the, the, the film containers holders will be oh, here. Now, between the time we record this and the time yes. it goes live, yes. you're getting something brand new in the store. Brand yeah. new. Brand new in the store. Brand new. Brand new. Yes. Now. You ready? You ready? Oh, oh I, I beat you to it. You did. You did. Now, yes. the, you're not getting these uh, Kodak cases. You're getting well, the bigger ones. Actually. Well, these and the bigger ones. These I'm and the bigger ones. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, that's the whole deal. That's why I say go to the link above. Well, Kodak. the video above his head. Yeah, link Kodak. It's one of our most popular videos, strangely enough. Yes, it is. It is. I just and love the way these things open. I love yes. the way they feel. I, I love how things, they click close. These things are They like, don't come with my film. They're though. So, this is, yeah. This is my film. <laughs> <laughs> these things are solid, well, well made. They now, are. How long have you had these? Uh, I don't know. So it's when did we have that video? I mean, that video is at least six months old now, no, isn't it's not, it? It's not that. Well, I think it was. Old, it, six, it, I think I got them at the beginning of December. Wow. So, so it's more wherever than six it is, months old. Where, whenever it is, go back because I my mean, I just they just click so nicely. They do. They do. I'm sitting here. <laughs> and they feel good. They feel good they in the hands too. Solid. And yeah. I realize you could get a plastic thing that doesn't, but this just no, feels so no, much better you than get plastic. It, but why? All right. Now this is the single five rolls holder. Right. So I got there's six different designs of this. Six. Six, six different designs. Color schemes. Color schemes. See, like we got the 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 red top yellow silver yellow you can actually there's a mix. silver and silver a yeah. black and a black i think there's a blue and a yellow yeah you uh, can there's, there's six, six color combinations. combinations there's also in the double size there's six combinations of this as well right so i will have six of the single combinations 10 each and then there will be six different styles of the double film holders 10 each right so there's a hunt there's 12 total of these things of which i will have 120 coming in he's gonna you're gonna have all of them all of them all i got of them. 10 of Here. each 10 of each and well, super, that is super cool these these are great they I love charged these. me for all of them <laughs> you don't know whether or not they're show, showing show well they they said they I've i got do, i do love these this four, is really nice three or four boxes i don't know what else in it, but i, I got, know I, I can just throw my film in I, my bag and be done love to but i love today. having these in there yeah i wish it hit today because we could have done an opening and just I'll open it, a box open. Oh my gosh, yes, yeah. We you, you, we we can save one box. Maybe. I don't know. It, it, it's, it's fun <laughs> well, to do openings. We'll, we'll have to see, them. but yes. So they're finally coming in. All right, mark his words, guys. He said they'll be at here the time this video airs. And I'm just trusting UPS. So <laughs> he's trusting a tracking number. <laughs> Four of them. <laughs> Four tracking Trusting numbers. Trusting a tracking number. It's sad when that's what your life boils down to. A tracking but, number. Hey, I'm excited about it. Well, you guys should be too. These are really cool. As a matter of fact, because uh, I bought, uh, I think I bought four of them originally. Yeah. I, I kept no, five. two. I think you, four or five. I bought four. I kept two and I let you sell two here in the store. I and them. I think they were gone in they no were time. They were gone within a day. Yeah. I mean, like that, they're at one that day and probably the, the other yeah, one the next day. Yeah, they were day. just, they, they disappeared. And so I can imagine that these 120 is going to last for so a while. All four or at least the, the most popular colors, they're going to be gone. They're going to be quick. gone. And I just got 10 of each just so I could get my order in, you know, get it the head of the line mm -hmm. because these things are going to go very fast with the suppliers. And this is going to be one of those fun things. And it, it just really is. It, it's just really cool. And so you got the in, the uh, the raised. Uh, embossed. Embossed. And then you got the like, cute little stick thing on the back. So these things are really kind of cool. They're I mean, nice. They're, they're nice. So go back, look at the old video. Right. And you will see four of the single ones in that. Yeah, the colors. In, in the color schemes in that one. And then once we do the. Uh, once we get them in, we'll show the, all, all of them. Absolutely. This is, this is I fun. So I, I am I am excited about that. Something finally. It's, it is super exciting. I, I'm glad those are coming. I mean, you ordered those months ago, so it's nice mm -hmm, that they're, they're finally coming in. I mean, when I ordered the original ones, it took uh, several months for them to come in yes. as well. So. Yes. 
it's definitely a uh, same a, a slow boat from somewhere that 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 made the Rito 3D and made this. But That's pretty cool. Same it, company. it is a qual. I mean, the camera is pretty quality. These are pretty Camera's quality. So good. somebody's doing some good quality. Yeah. I mean, the box does. I told you that box was really quality. Yeah. Made. It it's is. practically the same it box. Is, yeah, I mean, the, it's the, really good. Yeah. The, they are I mean, good. but of course, at the end of the day, it's just a box. I don't need the box. <laughs> I need a I quality know. camera. But if they put that much work in the box, you know, they put that much more work in the that box. That is true. So that is very true. Yes. That that's the one bit of good news that that it's actually happened this past few weeks and just. Uh, oh, so now we're gonna go to the bad news and it's unfortunately. And yeah. the sad news, and unfortunately, we are saving it uh, towards the end of the show mm -hmm. here. And I went ahead and looked this up in advance so that I could take a look here. Uh, I went ahead and looked up the uh, the Instagram account. Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. so, um, uh, so I was just there a second ago, so bear with me. And there it is. Uh, so, mm -hmm. yeah, we can take a look at some of the uh, it's yeah. fantastic work here. Yeah. Oh, wait a second. Friends don't let friends take photos of fireworks. That's, yeah, I, that's, that's, that's I wish that. I could have had a word with him. But unfortunately, go ahead. You might want to tell them right, who, right. who we're talking about and what we're right talking about. Right after our, what, our last video came out July 2nd. Right. Was, yeah, that was our two year anniversary. And I don't even think we mentioned it in there, did we? Uh, if we did, it was very, it was very, very brief. brief. So we, we've actually this is we are into the full second year of our videos now. Yes, but right afterwards, um, I was looking through the through through my emails and checking things out, and I got a note from Brody, and it came up and it popped up. D. Anson Brody. D. Anson Brody. Okay. And because Name he, sounds he's, he's a he's a follower, and uh, he doesn't watch our videos. <laughs> no, he's a follower of this person. Oh, okay, and, I see. Uh, yes. He doesn't. I don't think. I don't know if he watches our videos. Probably, probably not. You know, because Todd is Todd, and he probably. Gets oh, that's right. Todd to is Todd. Yeah, but but. We we learned uh, I learned that uh, right. from that yeah it's it's gorgeous work, but July fourth, during the night, uh, Frank Lee Ruggles passed away, and yeah. Frank, I'll tell you the story about how we got to know how I first met him, got to know him. Uh, I'm here at work doing my job and going on, and I get a phone call. He never leaves. I never leave. Yeah. It's, it's his sad life. Sad but true. Yeah. But I get a phone call and this guy says, hey, do you have 8x10 film? And at the time of the first Heck call. yeah. I, well, I did, but I only had HP5. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was just starting to carry 8x10 film. And my philosophy is if I don't have it, they're not going to buy it. So I'll get one or two or right. three boxes of 8x10 of because when somebody wants to buy it, they want to buy it then. They don't want to sit there and wait for two weeks. Right. And Nobody wants to order it. They want to buy they, it now. They want to buy it. They can go somewhere else and order it. And uh, so he, uh, so this phone call said, do you have a 8x10? And I said, yes, HP5. And I had three boxes. And he says, I'll take two of them. I'm driving in from Virginia. Okay. And I am heading to the Grand Canyon. I heard of it. Yeah. Yeah. Heard of it. Yeah. And uh, so he says, I'll be there about your closing time. And he's, According to his GPS, and he comes in, big tall guy, like six. He's bigger than me, husky guy, he's taller than you. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people are. Don't let this fool you. The uh, chairs are the same height. Yeah, he's yeah. actually taller than me. So. The, the so he comes <laughs> in. I show him around. He looks around. He takes a couple of the boxes, sits them down, and then he just goes through the whole store up and down. And he's sitting there buying, looking at stuff, like and, a kid in a candy store. Oh, he was so happy, and he was just sitting piling up this ca this counter here full of stuff. And it was like there was a pile of it by the time he finished, all dealing with eight by ten. Right. And so as he's doing this, looking around, and he's excited about everything, and he goes, "Yeah, my name's Frank Lee Ruggles." He says, "I was the eminent photographer for the national parks." And yeah, uh, that's that's I, said, I would I'm love to have that on a, on a ninth. Yeah. On and he a says, I'm the ninth one. The calling first card, you know, the first one being Ansel Adams. Yeah. It's on the ninth one. And he says, I am in Virginia and I'm going to take pictures in the, at the Grand Canyon. And I called everywhere. He says, normally I go about an hour drives north of where I live in Virginia and pick it up and then come back. He goes, but I figured I didn't want to spend that extra three hours yeah. You know, waste the three hours on the trip and I'll just pick it up along the way. And as he's driving along, he's phoning every city that he drives through to see if any camera store has eight by 10 film. And he goes, no one carries eight by 10 film. Except Don's used photo equipment. Uh. And he kind of went, 
I guess, I don't know if he went out of his way or if he's coming through this way or not, but he came through Dallas. Probably took a little bit of a yeah, dip. Yeah, a little bit of a dip yeah. to come down. But it's fine because it turns out later he has a friend that lives nearby. and he got. Well, I mean, friend. as the highways, it's 10, 20, 30. 30 yeah. He might have been like up on 40. So, you know, yeah, 30 and 20 actually meet together in Dallas. So. Yeah, yeah. So it, it just well passed Fort Worth. But yeah, so he, he came in and he, 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 he bought stuff, piled it up and took off. And it was it was nice to meet him, and yeah. I was I was it was fun, and especially all of the eight by ten stuff he bought, and he was serious into it, and he said that he was the guy who took the national parks from film to digital, and now he's going back and <laughs> shooting. he's going back and said, shooting. Oh, film. oh, oh, oh that's oh. me choking on irony. Oh, oh, oh no. my! So uh, it's just he's, he talked him into like <laughs> we don't need to shoot film. But then he, get, he he starts shooting film himself and just really loves it. So a few months later, I said, that was cool. That was neat. Nice to meet him. Months later, I get this phone call. It says, hi, I'm driving through Dallas and I need, do you, do you have 8x10 film? I said, is this Frank? Lee Ruggles? <laughs> and he goes, yes. How'd you know? Because <laughs> you're the only one who's coming from Virginia. The only one is, he only keeps calling this number and yeah, asking. Yeah, for 8x10. But by the time I first came by, and that time I had increased and I had four different eight by ten selections. To so pick HP from. five, FP four, Delta one hundred. Okay, and at Ortho. Ortho. Oh wow! Yeah. I mean, that or, is the, you know that's a tremendous selection. selection compared to what you had before. I just had HP five, and yeah, Delta one hundred. Yeah, yeah. And so he came through, and I think he picked up some HP five and maybe Delta one hundred again. And again, he walked around the store and made a little pile of stuff all related to eight by ten. And we talked more. And that second time, he was saying that he was talking about this thing called the Mural, Mural Project and that he was going to do the 79-year project and shoot Ansel Adams, just go through and shoot Ansel Adams's photos in the same sequence and order that uh, Adams did okay. 79 years ago to the date. So he would sit there because he had a book. He had Ansel's, I think, uh, diary or a copy of it, or maybe the real diary. Okay. And it had the date, the time, everything about the photo he shot. But the one thing he was missing. Except? The location. Oh, yes. Yeah. So the Grand Canyon is simply. You, you never give away a good fishing spot. No, no you never no, do. You don't, you don't. So the Grand Canyon was south rim of Grand Canyon. Yeah, how many hundreds of miles equate the About 100, south rim of the Grand Canyon? Fifty or something, one hundred twenty-five <laughs> miles. So it narrowed it down to one side of the canyon. Okay, <laughs> and he was going through now and finding all of the locations and spending months. And he, he had his jeep and he had a teardrop uh, a trailer behind it, so he'd just go out and sleep in the teardrop trailer, which, which essentially is just hauling around a bed with, yes, and, and, a, yes. and a camp stove. And a camp stove. Oh, and a bed. I love those it's things. I love it was great. It was awesome. So again, near the closing time, he pulls up out front and, uh, go, you know, comes through and buys stuff and he's in there adding to it. it. It was fun. And then we get into this. And so I'm just sitting there kind of going, okay. And I'm kind of busy keeping things, what's going on. Right. And so then he takes off again. And since then, he's probably, he dropped by about another into the night, two, two or three times. Okay. You know, he, whenever he comes through, he'll drop by. So four or five stops, four or five by stops. Don's used photo the, in, in Dallas. The, the only yeah. Don's used photo. Yeah. Well, it apparently has in his Dallas. Film. In Dallas. There's a Don's photo equipment in Oregon, which really? is a different story. It's not quite the same. Not the same. And um, so it, I got to know him then, and I would email him back and forth and, and Instagram, and we'd, we'd talk. And um, I, entered, I got him to meet with uh, with Extraordinary. Okay, yeah, yeah. And so one time, whenever he was Daniel in Daniel and Sarah. Daniel and Sarah. Yeah. yeah. He met with them for breakfast. And they said, hey, while you're here, can we just pull out our video and and do a short little thing with you? And he goes, sure. So they did it. And he, he, um, he's, he is on one of their videos, a little, little short five, eight minute thing, just talking about Frank Lee Ruggles and he sets up his eight by 10 camera. Okay. And so he went from talking everything into going in digital. And then he just turned around and went right back to eight by 10 and jumped full fledged into it and loved it. And you are going to show some of the photos that he's taken. 
uh, I guess. I, I'm, well, just, while we're talking, we're I talking. will probably have shared a few of the Share photos. Few of the photos. Uh, obviously, we need to give uh, Frank uh, full credit for these photos. photos. I, I don't even know who to ask to, to be able to use these but things, but, just, it, but it's sure, phenomenal work. Great. He has a great body of work. He does. And, and he is only the second photographer in history to have an actual exhibit, a permanent exhibit at one of the national parks. Cool. Ansel Adams being the first one. And his exhibit is in the Everglades National Park. And I think they had like 169, just a huge number of photos that are spread throughout all of the buildings on, on the uh, facility. Uh, uh, the, the Everglades, Everglades, isn't that also where uh, Clyde Butcher yeah. also photographed? That's Florida, right? In Florida, yeah. yeah, in the Florida, in Florida. And so, and also where Lisa Malay, he did her book. So right, right. A, lot, a lot of stuff happens in the, in the Everglades. And... Um, why people are attracted to mosquitoes? I don't know, I don't know just... either. But but uh, he so he he has his, an exhibit in his home where he personally lives is mm -hmm. like butted up right next to Shenandoah National Park. Well, that's and convenient. So he 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 loved the national parks and loved spending time in the national parks and taking photos of the national parks, and uh, just was a great guy to to get to know. And the project was a huge project in 79 years. I don't know what's going on with that or what's mm. going to happen to that. Yeah. But that was actually just sort of the first of several things that were that were lining up uh, to do. And that's the one right. that everybody kind of knew about. And there were other things that were just going to spread from that, which were really fascinating and would have been a boon, just a huge help to large format photography. And also... Uh, it, it was knowing him and talking to him, and then whenever we had a slow time with uh, with the last year with business and everything, that I sat around and thought, what can I do? But the thinking about the large format photography and shooting, that's when I came up with this. The idea. The, the idea. The, yeah. Was based on part of just you know just having a discussion Frank. with Frank. Yeah, just just the bigger the pit, the bigger the negative, the better the picture. What all is involved with it? The the dark room part of it. And the third part of it, which I don't have a button for, but it's the exposure value yeah. uh, scale of it. So a lot of that was inspired by talking with, with frankly, Ruggles on, on this large format quest and everything that was going to happen, connection to it, and following from it. Um, it was going to be a fascinating project, and I'm thinking and hoping that somebody else will still pick it up and and follow well, that would be nice. I mean, uh, now you said Frank was pretty young. I mean, we're not talking about an old man. Younger here. than me. So yes. uh, yeah. older than me, but yet younger than him. So put him in the ballpark there. Yeah. I mean, you would you would expect a guy like that, hopefully, to to make it at least into his seventies or eighties or something like that. Yeah. So. So this, unfortunately, is a tragedy, and he's going to be very much missed. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, I've heard this story several times from Todd. You know, he, he was always excited when Frank came in here. And, it's uh, great to talk to. It's fun. And, and he's just you know, it's, really, his, his mind just, just was, it, it was for the love of photography, the love of analog, the promotion of analog, right. and just everything was geared towards and aimed at the whole industry of film. And he would post films, right. of, uh, uh, post pictures of him in his dark room with these huge eight by ten negatives strung up uh, across the the uh, room, drying, drip drying. I mean, I, I I'm hoping a uh, a spouse or significant other. I mean, I don't know if he's married or not. I'm hoping he's married, yeah. I'm some hoping somebody can find somebody to help uh, put some finishing touches on some yeah. of these projects or something like that. Because I'm I'm sure I've what I've seen there, are fantastic images and. Mm -hmm. uh, and the world would be a better place if we could actually all see them. Yeah, and if I had a place, I would have bought uh, one or two of his uh, of his images and put them up. But he, whenever he does his images, he will have one photo that he will make twenty five different various size prints of, and then he retires the image. Okay. So it doesn't matter if he makes it, sells an eight by ten or a four foot by three foot or uh, image. Twenty five is the limit. Twenty five is the limit, and then he retires the the mm. negative, and that's it. And there's twenty five of those in of of that image in various sizes and that's it. And um, so I, I wanted to actually find a, a really cool photo one day. If I, you know, like if you win the lottery type of thing. Right. And I just wanted to have 25 prints made of it and have all of them. That's, that was my, that was my, if I won the lottery <laughs> moment thought is just, I would have loved to have bought 
all 25 images of one thing and then have it retired and just own all of them and, and uh, corner the market corner the market on on an image and there are a lot there's actually a couple of the images that i i sort of put a pin hole in and once said, man if i could that would be the image that would be the one that would be the one that, that would be the one get. but um he, he passed away since our last video and with sad news we're just we wanted to relay that because uh, we were big fans of his, and, and um, he, he had fun coming through the store. And, and he was part of the reason why the 8x10 grew, uh, section grew, and uh, part of the reason why the the buttons are here. So he played a role in, in what was going uh, on. He definitely had an impact on the store. So, yeah. I mean, you you have to appreciate a photographer with uh, their who can share their passion, who can grow the community. And yeah, and like inspire that. people who are already in it. Right. So, you know, here I am. I, I was like, it's like I, I got inspired and, and uh, really pumped up about about what was going on on it. And it, it was really fun to follow. And uh, Well, I, I really wish I had gotten a chance to meet him because I understand he always came by at, uh, you know, after hours and things or, or just as closing time, things like that. It, it really would have been nice to meet him. Yeah, that's as he's um, driving by. Yeah. You know? And uh, the one time he actually came in in the morning because he had a friend that lived up nearby. And yeah. Alan or McKinney. And uh, so his friend would then, uh, so he stayed with him and then he'd come down and, and uh, one morning and then took off from here to where he was going. So he just came in and talked that time. That was fun. Well, he's so, very much yeah. going to be missed. Uh, but, you know, once again, I'd like to give uh, Todd some credit here because it's amazing the people that he knows that are involved in the, the photo community uh, who come in here. I mean, you know, you've had Lameek in here. Uh, we've had uh, Lisa L. Malahi in here. We've had uh, we've had now you've had frankly Ruggles. You've had so you've had other uh, yeah. good photography people in here. I'm not saying that you guys aren't good as well, but we had we had yeah. some inspirational, some pa very yes. passionate people yeah. come through this little bitty store, yeah. and it's really good that a story like this exists so yeah. they can and actually happen. It's it's fun because of uh, uh, Dallas Center for Photography. Whenever they'd had a guest speaker or Alan Ross or you know okay. just a, a teacher. Then Peter would bring them over here, and he goes, "Hey, this is our little little hidden this is gem. Our secret. This is our don't secret. Tell don't tell anybody." I said, "I'm sitting going, no, please tell people. <laughs> tell everybody. <laughs> we need to sell stuff so we can keep up." But yeah, it's it, uh, we've had a lot of fun people come through, and I've had several people take my photo. That um, yeah, well, I think I've taken your photo once or twice. Yeah, but you're not as well known as they were. Of course, I, I'm waiting for the police to say I need a picture for the mugshot. It's like, here yes, you go. Yes, there you go. Have. It's only ten thousand dollars. It's going to be on the news. It's going to be ten thousand dollars. <laughs> he was such a quiet man. He was. <laughs> yes, <laughs> but then he just went nuts with the links. <laughs> he did. Well, guys, but that's yeah. essentially going to be our show for today. Uh, yeah. We're starting to get a little bit long, uh, but yeah. it's very sad news to have to, have to end you on a sad note. It is. It is. Uh, but uh, once again, we do appreciate you guys watching and sharing and yeah. viewing the videos and coming into the store. And uh, yeah, anytime I'm in here, I always love talking to the new folks who are here, the people who come in from California. And, you know, because we love ribbing people from California. We do. But, you know, you know, sometimes just hanging around the store, talking to other photographers is it's, a lot of fun it's, for me. It's inspiring. It's fun. And yeah. it, it just kind of makes you think that, yeah, this industry is doing good. It's okay. I, I mean, I know there's online venues to gather and share your passion but it's really there's nothing like coming into a place in and person. sharing your passion with people right there in front of you it I is. mean it is uh, it, it, it's pretty cool so so help keep things going by sharing liking please do share like subscribe yeah. yep yep watch our tell videos. it to tell a friend tell everybody tell several friends remind my mom she needs to watch this episode yes yes and then the links we put up there when you get a chance watch the links to the, the, the Kodak film case link watch that because you'll see the, you'll see four of the you'll see one of our most popular videos <laughs> one of the top five and we don't even know why we don't we don't it's the it's the algorithm it could be it could be i'm but starving i say I we too. get out of here guys i am i'm thirsty too. all right see y'all later thanks oh man watch your step watch your step watch your step oh, oh i'm old you're old you're older than me i know and i'm telling you <laughs> Hey, maybe next time we should talk to them about...